Yo guys, we are back and a few weeks ago we created a video on how to snipe or actually use the sniper that we provide. And today I want to give you my two cents on how you can actually trade meme tokens or meme coins. So if you think that is interesting, like the video and with that said, let's check it out. Alright, so the idea for doing this video came actually after I uh, provided wallet lists to my VIP members. And I can show you what I mean. So under VIP, I have a, a section where, there, where I show or where I provide actually uh, pre-made lists of wallets. Like, of course, I do all the wallets if they want to. Active wallets, wallets with a balance, uh, no sniper wallets and also ready wallets. So with ready, I mean, these are 300 of the most recent wallets that they can just take and then import into DEXs. But a lot of people, they think of uh, these wallets that they can just copy trade them or see what they what they buy and then buy them straight away. Um, I also give them like the possibility based on the full database that I provide uh, to do their own wallet management. So if that is something that is interesting, you can always join VIP and check it out. But uh, besides that, they can download these wallets and a lot of people, they think that they need to copy trade these wallets. So once they buy something, they need to buy it straight away as well. And that can be a good strategy, but that's not my strategy. And again, as I said, I want to give you my two cents. It's not financial advice, but that's how I use these wallets. So let's say that I download the 300 uh, ready wallets wallets and I download these to my PC and then I open them in my IDE, they will look something like this. And um, of course, we have selected the wallets that are most active in this case or that have a good PNL. And then I can just copy these wallets and then I can go to, for example, uh, New Bullocks where they have a wallet tracker. And under the wallet tracker, you can actually import them. And that's what I will do. So um, here there is the import button and then you can just paste these 300 wallets here and you can do it with all the additional information uh, that comes from our wallet management but any of your wallets that you track or want to have you can just paste them in here and then confirm and then you will see that it imported 300 of these wallets so now I have 300 wallets there that I think are good because I did wallet management on them um, and my VIP users they can just select like active wallets wallets with balance but the point is you have all these wallets in here and most people, they think they have to go to these wallets and then copy trade them. As I said, when they buy something, they have to buy it as possible, soon as possible. But a lot of these wallets, they are also sniper wallets because they get wallets from, for example, GMGN, where they have top performance. But what can you do with wallets that are just like buying and selling like in two seconds? And that's why this wallet management is really important. So now I import all these wallets here that I know that are decent wallets that I can follow and that have decent that decent PNL, all these kind of things. So the next thing that I do is select all these wallets and I enable alerts. So I get actually alerts for all these wallets. And with alerts, I mean here in the left bottom, you see these alerts and then I can see what they're actually doing, buying, selling. So this gives me some kind of confluence that I can use in addition to the strategy that I used to uh, buy and sell these meme tokens. So now that I have all these wallets in here that I know that are quite okay, um, and these are call wallets, dev wallets, they are like um, top gainers and losers from, for example, BirdEye, Callscan, all these wallets are in here. And also I redefine them using the... Um, wallet management. So now I have these wallets here. The next thing that you can do is go to a uh, hypervision, which is uh, still in beta, but it gives you a nice overview of uh, new creations uh, about to graduate and graduate the tokens. And what I like to do is always have a new tab here. And then I open the Twitter tracker. And then this Twitter tracker, I just take out, I go to the left and then I split them up like this in two windows, as you can see. And then I just move it all the way to the left. So I just have the Twitter tracker here. So I can see what is going on now. And I just follow the news a bit and see what people are talking about. And again, this is not necessarily that I will buy everything that people speak about here, but it gives some good indication of what is going on, like trending topics, all these kind of things. So that's why I have the um, Twitter tracker always open here. So for this screen, um, I can show you what I do here. So. I don't have many filters for the new creations because these are uh, they are just populated like every few seconds. But one filter I have here and I think it's uh, five transactions. So it's not just tokens created by a dev with only one transaction. So at least something is going on. And then I can see here uh, which tokens are also being created 
And uh, you can also see immediately um, what of the same tokens are being created. So you get a bit of a feel of what the team is uh, that we're currently looking at or the meta or what you want to call it. So the next column is about to graduate. And for me, what is important in this column, I want to see what is getting attention really quick or which tokens are getting or growing really quick. So I can show you my uh, filters here. So. For Dev Holding, I have 20% and for Insider Wallets, I have 30%. But you can play a bit with this on uh, based on your own uh, risk management and risk tolerance. Um, market cap is 8,000 because I do this under 10,000 because that's a bit of this psychological uh, level like 10,000. And a token age, I set to three minutes. And this can also be five or 10 minutes. It depends a bit how busy the markets are. But three minutes, I think is like a good, um, yeah, a good setting for this. So then I apply it. And what this does for me, it shows newly created tokens that are maximum three minutes old which are getting some traction you know because as you remember a market cap minimum needs to be eight thousand and then i can see like these tokens they are getting some tractions and it's not always that it is a lot of tokens and you can say okay nothing is going on i do this to five minutes and then more comes in again depends on how busy the market is um, so then these tokens that are coming in that getting a bit of traction really quick that other people will probably jump into because they think the same, they, they will pop up in here. So the third column, um, I also have some filters here and what I set here is um, the same, Dev holding 20%, Insider Wallet Supply 30% and here market cap 200,000. And why do I do that? Because this will give me um, an overview of tokens that I know that migrated um, and graduated and that are actually still keeping this uh, 100,000 psychological level, 200,000 psychological level. So you can see a bit of the trend of the day that is going on. So here we have Lily and T-Rex. It seemed to be like dog uh, related stuff and then a meme act. So from this uh, right side column, I just want to see what is the trend of the day or what meta is going on or what is uh, actually popular these days. And uh, that's what I want to get out of this column. So that's that's why I set these filters. And in the middle, I have tokens that are gaining traction really quick. And this uh, I have just opened to see um, what is being created. So with this setup, the next thing that I do is, of course, I have the Twitter tracker here and you can have a look on what is being set. And of course, also the alerts that are being populated by our wallets that we imported. And the next thing I do is just look because I don't trade really often. If I do two, three trades a day, it's a lot even. Um, there's days that I don't even trade because I'm always uh, yeah, programming most of the time. But this is how I have the setup open. And to snipe the tokens, I, as you can see, I also have the buttons here. I use Sniperoo. And why do I do that? Because uh, they have a really nice extension that you can put on uh, the sidebar like this. And then if you just zoom out a bit you can have it like three columns like this your twitter tracker here and here your sniper overview so if i buy a token in my positions i have all my positions here i don't have to keep up the top uh, the uh, tabs open i can do that if i want to if i just say like this is interesting and i buy it i can keep it open but once i buy it it will come here in my positions and i think that is really nice compared to for example nova uh, where you don't really have something like that so um, I buy it, my positions are here and I can sell really quick. I get an overview of all my PLs. So that's why I use um, Sniperoo. Um, they have also a platform that you can go into and create some kind of um, like strategies. But the cool thing, for example, under TX settings, they use Jito and you can set like a dynamic Jito tip, for example, here. So then they will use the proposed Jito tips because they use Jito to do the uh, landing the transactions. And um, for both buying and selling, you can set a Jito level here. But I think they are really quick compared to Nova, so uh, that's why I use these. And um, of course, because of the extension here on the side that I really like, um, because I can see all my tokens that I buy. Again, I don't buy much tokens, but it's just it gives a really nice overview of what's going on in one screen. And I can move this whole screen to my other screen on the right, and then I can just do my daily work that I do. And keep this open because what is important with uh, trending the, trading these tokens I believe is that you get a feel of the market because a lot of people they see something oh this is interesting I buy it but then most of the time these tokens they die out really quick uh, because yeah there is so much tokens being created but over time you will start to see like these trends or these uh, connections between them and uh, that's why I also have the column set up in this way uh, with these filters because um this is just too risky for me to trade and buy but here they're getting some traction and if it like overlaps with what is set on uh, twitter for example and the meta is right 
Um, then I can start looking at these and do the basic analytics, like uh, how much people are holding, how much percent, these kind of things. But uh, what is also important for me is like a lot of the time you will see a topic coming in for like example, uh, GTP4, uh, 0.5 is released and then you get a lot of these GPT tokens and they get a lot of traction initially but the thing is they have then like this stupid picture that they just copied somewhere from the internet and then I have to think is this a token that will that is memeable that will run um, and often it does not so I don't really buy a lot of these things that are spiking up really quick um, just because it's the something is happening like trending um, but you also have to think like is it memeable if i look at that for example this thing here blup i don't know what it is i'm just a random thing that i pick out now but this thing does it have a like uh twitter the, the picture what is it does is this something that can run into 100,000 200,000 market cap and if you say yes it is then uh, you can start doing like the audits and uh, see yeah, okay, this is something that i want to buy but um for me, it's more important to see what I cannot buy and stay as long as possible in the market without blowing up my account um, instead of buying everything and just being uh, yeah, exit liquidity for all these other people. So that's how a bit how I go uh, with this token tradings. I have the Twitter open here. I see what's going on. And of course, if there is a meta that is really strong, like for example, uh, if Solana was dropping a lot, you saw these things coming in like uh, these McDonald memes that were... Um, like going crazy again because uh, when you have to, when you Solana is going down or Bitcoin is going down, you have to go back to McDonald's, this kind of meta. And then, of course, uh, if then dog memes are also popular because some kind of dog died and people are st starting to make dog memes, and then you have a token that has to do with McDonald's and dog and it overlaps, then it's something that can, for example, uh, um, reach a certain market cap and then it also has to be memeable. So that's a bit of the things that I look for. But the, the biggest reason why I keep it open like this is to get a feel with the market. And over time, um, if you long enough looking at all these kind of things, you will get an idea of something that can uh, that can actually uh, fly and some things that you know that will just go down to zero straight away. So um, of course, it's important to have the right risk management if you buy a token. And it's it's important to get out really quick. For example, if you would look at this here, um, let's say if if I would buy this now, and this is just a, an example, you know, if I would buy 0 0.1 sold, then I can also show you here how this looks. Um, this is this is something, for example, yeah, okay, this is uh, going up now. But if this would drop like minus 10%, then I would go out because I like to have, I I'd rather stay long in the market with a, like not blowing up my account than just, um, yeah, buying everything and then hoping that it will go up. So um, as you can see here now, also if I buy this, I can go to my positions and I can see easily what's going on, my PLs for all my positions. And then I can also sell really easy. Um, but this token now, for example, is it memeable? I don't know, I just clicked here to show you what I mean. Um, so staying as long in the market as possible is more important for me than just buying and selling things. Um, and also by looking at this tracker here, um, you will get an idea together with the overview here, uh, what can eventually like climb up and what will probably die really quick so um these alerts again they are important for me because i can also see what other wallets are doing and if they are buying the same token they will also show up here on screen and it gives me a bit more confluence on um yeah and on what they're doing did i are they people thinking the same as i am thinking or is no one really buying anything um so that's why i have these wallets here um as you can see so um, often a lot of these wallets, they are buying bigger tokens, bigger market caps, but that's how also how you uh, do your wallet management and how you look at it. Uh, but it gives you a bit of extra confluence on seeing if they buy the same tokens. Of course, then you know uh, what's going. And uh, I think this is a good example of why these filters are important. As you can see, this is one is up 30%. And here on the side, I can see my PL. So if I do sell, I can, for example, here sell percentages of my uh, position. But for now, just it's the demo of the video. I will just sell everything and then sniper will take care of that and then you see here i sold everything so that's a bit of a strategy that i follow um it's not necessarily the best strategy that's what works for me uh, that's how i set up my filters that's how i have it open all the time as i said i'm not really actively trading um 
meme tokens anymore. I'm deving most of the time, but I have it always open so that I can follow along and you get a bit of a better feel of what's going on in the market. And by looking at this all the time, you get better in spotting things that can run. But uh, yeah, that's what most important for me. The Twitter tracker, these settings that I went over, the wallets that I imported in the beginning where you get the alerts for, and then seeing if the token is something that can be memeable um, and not just like a token that is like has no work behind it, no Twitter account, uh, stupid picture just create, uh, took from the internet. So I won't buy these things, but things that are look a bit memeable, that follow the meta of the day. And if they have something that overlaps, like two metas, that's something that for sure can pump. Um, and then of course I use Sniper because they have the really nice overview here on the site. So that's my setup. Um, Again, that's what works for me. Um, it's not financial advice. You don't have to follow it up. I just want to show you how I use these wallets that I provide to my VIP members and how they play along in my strategy in, play, in uh, doing the meme tokens. But um, if you think this is interesting and you have questions, jump in our Discord. I will put the link in the description. And um, yeah, if not, that's fine. You can do what works for you. But uh, for the ones that think it is interesting, like the video. And that's it for today. And I hope to see you in the next one.